Good evening, everybody. I hope you are well. I have just stolen a little bit of time while my monkeys have gone to bed to record this five minute little tips and tricks for bringing yourself extra relaxation while you are sat at your home desk. We have all made big, huge adaptations to our working environments over the past few weeks and I'm sure all of our shoulders are feeling the strain. So I thought I could this evening just give you some helpful hints on how you could relieve some of the tension and the strain that might be lifting up into these shoulders, which if you're not suffering, you must be some kind of master wizard because there's a lot of pressure and stress is going on and working from home is not easy. So taking a bit of time for a bit of care and R&R &R for you is super, super important. I am a remedial massage therapist and I have almost 18 years worth of experience so I've felt a few tight shoulders in my years of therapy. So what I'm going to show you is a very simple routine which you will be able to incorporate into your day at any point in time. At any point when these shoulders are lifting up and they're really creeping up around your ears. You might have just opened an email that's just made you lift up your shackles. You might just be feeling the strains of what's going on in our world at this present time. But what I want to do is just arm you with a five minute break which will just help you move forward feeling a little bit more elevated and a little bit looser through the shoulder area. Now you can do this with oil, but obviously in the working day, this is gonna be a bit more of a challenge. So this routine can be done through your clothing and just using the curves of your hands and the strength of your fingers just to ease out any aches and pains. So we're just gonna start just by loosening off. So I want you to take a nice big deep breath in through your nose and exhale through your mouth. While you're exhaling, I want you to gently rest your tongue on the top of your mouth. So when you exhale, it sounds a wee bit like this. So by doing that, it just allows you to open up through your throat. So you're going to inhale. Hold your tongue against the roof of your mouth. One more. And why not one more for good measure? This time lifting your shoulders up. And as you exhale, lowering them down your back. I'm just going to get you to roll gently. Lifting those shoulders high and using those strong back muscles just to bring them further down. Just creating space between your ears and your shoulders. And come forward. Drop your chin to your chest and gently, just a small half circle to the front. This time you're going to roll all the way to the back and create that same gentle rolling of a half circle at the back of your neck. Bring yourself back to the front. Elevate through. You're going to gently just draw that head to one side, trying to create space and length through the front here, really drawing that arm down and away from your ear. Back to center. Same on the other side. I really do feel strain up through the front of my neck. So, this is a really nice stretch. You're going to come back to centre, drop your chin to your chest, just the weight of your hands. You're going to inhale and as you exhale, roll your chin to your chest. At the bottom, as you inhale, I want you to open up, open up, squeezing those shoulders to the back, lifting through the neck. Find your maximum spot. Exhale, roll down. Now 
Inhale up. Exhale down. Release those fingers. If you want to intensify the stretch, you can gently press your fingers on the side of your temple. And to the other side. Just lengthening here a wee bit further. Now, if you come to the front, I'm gonna get you just to place your hands on your shoulders. I'm gonna get you to bring and squeeze. You're gonna arch through the back. Bring those elbows nice and close together. And as you open up, you're gonna squeeze those shoulders together at the back. You're gonna bring those elbows nice and close together. Bringing those elbows all the way up and you're opening all the way as you squeeze those shoulders together. One more time, elbows together. Inhale, exhale, squeeze those shoulders together. Now, the heel of your thumb is a very powerful muscle. If you bring your hand across and rest it on your shoulder, you'll find that soft little dip in your clavicle. And by using the opposite hand just to help guide that shoulder forward, you can really start to work into that trapezius muscle. If you look over the other shoulder, you'll be able to feel it opening up so you can get right in there, give it a really good squeeze. Bringing it out onto the deltoid, which is this big chunkier muscle here on the front. Squeeze, now use those hands, really get in there. Those muscles are strong, they can take a nice pinch especially if they're feeling tense. This little bit of self-care will really make you feel better. Using the heel, you can grapple into the front where your clavicle is, which is here, this muscle, this bone here, sorry. Using the heel, you can bring it up onto your neck. If you feel any tightness there, be careful of your throat area, it's sensitive, but up into the muscle here. And the same on the other side, taking that thumb, using the opposite hand just to brace, just to allow a little bit of support for the working hand. Really grappling in, squeezing and pinching as you drag all that pressure out. Again, using the heel and that thumb. Coming up the side of your neck. Good. They should be feeling a little bit looser now, get a bit more mobility, the more blood that we can flush through those areas, it will just allow all that lactic acid just to rid. Now if we use these stroking motions, and dropping up, stroking up, up, up the side, it's that draining motion, you use the heel of your hand here, up into your neck into around your jaw. Now both hands you're going to clasp behind and just use the heels around your neck area. Start to take your thumbs around the back of inside your ears. So we're just coming here, just using that nice thumb tension in that slightly higher position where the base of your skull meets all the tendon and the muscles of your of your neck. So slowly, you're gonna to start to come around the front. Now these temples, they get tight, so we're gonna use those fingertips around the temple area. Little gentle circular movements, like when you're shampooing your hair, it's that shampooing kind of movement. So we're using that now, yep. Lots of funny faces as you pull and tense the skin but we're really working our way in and around these ears right now ears a lot of tension in our ears around the front coming around into our jaw now our jaw when we're stressed we can clench our jaw we do a lot of talking all the time so this is quite a tender area anyway again using your two fingers 
using your thumb at the base of your jaw, gentle circles. You'll feel there's little tight pockets in there. You'll be thinking, oh gosh, I didn't realize there was so much tension in there. Gentle circles. That's it. Start to make those circles a bit bigger as we work up around the temples. So we're really getting into like a shampooing kind of sensation. Yes, we will look like aliens with our hair all over the place and like we've been dragged around. Come round the back of your ear. You can start to really grapple in your hair and start stimulating the flow of blood around your skull. When we're frowning, when we're staring at computer screens, get a lot of strain in our eyes. So the tension comes across the fascia, across your face, into your skull. So it really does feel fantastic to be able to just release a wee bit of tension, just with a little bit of self-massage. Now I'm going to show you a method now with the claw. If we put the claw, thumbs together, and we drain out to our ears, the claw at the side of your mouth, out to your ears. Now we've got lymph nodes at the top of our neck, and so by draining, we're going to remove any stagnant matter in our blood system that sits in our faces. So we need to then drain it out. So we're going to come under the eyes. So we're gentle around the eye area, but this is great for the sinuses. If anyone's feeling a little bit sinusy, if you get in here with your claw and drag. Oh, look at my nose. It's a really lovely sensation if you feel a little bit congested. We can do the same above our brows. So we're just going to put the heels of our fingers together. And again, just dragging those out down to the temple area. You'll feel how good that is. You'll feel those tense little pockets as you drag and press through the skin to the ears. Now, at that point, we want to just add gentle draining movements as we come down our neck. Now you can carry on with this however long you want because it is a really, really nice thing to do for yourself. But if you just have five minutes, that you just want to break up your afternoon when it starts to get a little bit heavy and the novelty of working at home starts to wear off, <clears throat> I think just taking a little bit of time just to work through these muscles, just to create a little bit of space by moving gently rolling, rolling shoulders forward, opening your chest up. When we sit at a desk, we can roll forward a lot. So it's really good to be able to open these muscles up and out, up and out. We can use that across your own, across yourself on the opposite side, really strike, want to lengthen through that fascia because it all starts to get a bit tight. We can open our chest out. Nice big inhales drawing those shoulders down our backs, reaching up and coming down, reaching up and coming down, reaching up and down. We're very adaptable creatures and we will get through this with all the help that's being flown around at the moment, the communities that are building and people sharing all their knowledge. I hope that this little video may help one of you, even if it's just one of you, it's been worth taking the time to record. Um, there'll be many more videos to come. I have lots of other hints and tips which will help you through your home office days. I hope you've enjoyed this. It's been lovely to massage with you. Take good care. Lots of love. Bye-bye.